Well, we had Dana East. Dana, a wonderful performance by yourself and the team. How do you feel? Uh, I feel amazing. Uh, the girls were just so supportive today and we just linked up just so well in the first three quarters. So we're really happy with our game. So. Um, first goal of AFLW, always a special moment. Um, how was that? Yeah, I didn't actually know what was happening. I didn't know I was getting a forward 50 um, goal, but yeah, it was, great. it was great. I couldn't write the smile off my face. I don't know if you counted your tackles, but you had eight. Um, you led the way in that front half, um, particularly impressive in that first half. And Trent Cooper said that you really led the way uh, ahead of Turbo and, and Miller. Um, how did you find that half yourself? Um, I think there was more support around the girls. Um, we just did our part. And obviously, I played pretty well in the first half. And then they stepped up in the second half. And it was just great. We were just linking up, communicating. So it was just an all midfield round work so yeah it's good. Coops in his presser just then said that you follow Turbo around at training try and emulate what she does. Um, can you talk us through <laughs> the influence and, and yeah what you look up to her? Uh, yeah I obviously look up to Turbo that's no secret so I try and um, match up on her every training just to get the best out of myself um, and I just really want to I love the way she plays and I idolise just ha her effort around the ground off the ball and on the ball so um, yeah, just that training, I try and sneak in there. <laughs> yeah, so it's good. Anne McMahon, a special moment for her with her first AFW goal, a really inspiring moment for the group. Um, how, do you, how did you see that? Oh yeah, that was amazing. I actually got goosebumps because I just look back on how far she's came, even though I've just been here this year. She's got an amazing story, so I'm really happy for her and it was, yeah, it was a great moment. Other names we haven't mentioned yet, um, anyone else stand out for you that really impressed you today? Um, I think the whole back line, I couldn't really pick an individual, but the, they just held that up so well um, and causing just stoppages and stopping them from goals in the last half. So, yeah, shout out to them. They're good. We're a couple of days into our Melbourne stint now. How have you settled in personally? How are you finding it over here? Um, yeah, it's good. Um, trying to keep away from the COVID situation, obviously. But, yeah, um, we're getting used to it. So, yeah. And the focus will turn pretty quickly after this win to Richmond next week. Um, yeah, what are the sort of main hopes for the group um, as we embark on the final three games of our interstate trip? Um, so we'll recover, recover tomorrow and then regather and talk about Richmond, um, take it game by game. But I think if we performed as well as we did today against Richmond, we'll, we'll be fine. So. Thanks, Dana. Thank you.